guys, welcome back to another video. It's Peter Day here. If you're new to the channel, my name is Peter Day. I'm the guy on the right, and my brother is Tyler Day. We're also known as the Day Brothers in the affiliate space. We've been affiliate marketing for about 10 years, and we've earned almost $15 million of commissions and, and counting. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, verticals and the question that came in is what is a affiliate marketing vertical I'm going to answer that qu question rather quickly because I think that question is a pretty basic question and then we'll go on to actually talk in a little bit more detail about different verticals and our suggestions and opinions and things like that so what is a vertical a vertical is just the category of things um, that you're promoting so for example like life insurance is a uh, vertical um, car loans is a vertical, solar is a vertical. So vertical is like the uh, category or the genre. And that's pretty much the answer to that question. So someone did ask a fairly basic question, just what is a vertical? That's the answer to that question. Now, the real question is what verticals are the best verticals? So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about our opinion on verticals for Facebook and different traffic sources. So first of all, um, your vertical is going to have to be tailored a little bit towards the traffic source okay so for example um, however good you know BizOp is a very high converting vertical if you can get your hands on some good BizOp offers but um, the thing is Facebook as a traffic source isn't that hot on um, BizOp and investment type of offers I mean you definitely can get away with it um, sometimes but for a lot of times, I've seen people kind of get shut down for trying to do biz op on Facebook. So that's just a perfect example where it's kind of like a good vertical, but it might not fit the um, the traffic source. So what's really good for Facebook these days? Home services are really good for Facebook day these days, like roofing, windows, solar, um, things like that. Anything in the car industry, like car insurance, car warranty, car loan, things like that educational offers, insurance offers in all the different insurance verticals like life insurance, home insurance, um, and things like that. Uh, Medicare and verticals like that. Legal um, verticals are really good on Facebook like injury and um, car accident type of stuff, things like that. Um, what are some other good... Uh, real estate is really good on Facebook. So some people stay away from loans, but mortgage and... Um, Refi do really well on Facebook. You can also do really well on um, other type of real estate offers. We were testing an offer um, that was doing pretty well for a period of time in buying or selling one's house. Um, so let me go over some. So those are verticals that are good um, for Facebook. And then some verticals that would not be that great for Facebook are ones that Facebook really frowns upon. So like cryptocurrency, biz ops, sweepstakes, freebies and um, multi-level marketing, network marketing, um, things like that. Uh, even Facebook kind of frowns upon weight loss. And you can, I've seen guys promote kind of uh, legitimate workout things. Like um, I, I went to a Tim Bird conference and I met a guy that was promoting um, something called the Booty Challenge in Australia. He actually owns the Booty Challenge. Um, but it wasn't really like a weight loss supplement or pill or any kind of CPA offer. It, it was just kind of his workout program. I actually met a second person. I was flying to Affiliate Summit West in Vegas in January prior to the corona stuff. And sitting right next to me was a girl who also had a really good um, workout program. It was an app that was counting calories and stuff like that. And she was doing really well on Facebook with that. So you can definitely succeed on workout type of things. It's just Facebook has definitely frowned upon what's known as your common Nutra pill um, weight loss. The, the kind of those those offers that have just been heavily abused by black hat type of marketers, Facebook has been frowning upon. So um, in terms of verticals, you're going to want to lean more towards the verticals that are um, safer and um, less frowned upon by Facebook for safety and then um, you can also do some stuff that's in the middle right like there's nothing wrong with a workout thing on Facebook it's just it might be a little bit 
um, risky. So what I recommend doing with your Facebook advertising is you might want to have Facebook allows you to make multiple business managers and multiple accounts and stuff. I mean, it's not sneaky. They allow it. What I would recommend doing for your Facebook advertising is that I would have some business managers that are allocated towards things that are like completely, um, uh, I guess, white hat, if you want to call them. It's not like the other things are black hat. It's just the other things, I guess, are more risky, right? So um, potentially. So what I really recommend guys do is have some business managers allocated towards things that are like uh, kind of uh, almost absurdly white hat, like roofing, solar, windows, things like that. Um, and then I recommend having separate business managers that are allocated towards things that are a little bit more on the edge, like your um, injury, the car accident offers, the workout offers, um, any kind of like investment offer that Facebook does approve and stuff. You know what I mean? I think that it's safe to have I don't think, I mean, I know that it's, it's, it's definitely safe to have multiple um, accounts and business managers because when you make a Facebook account, they don't, they don't just give you one account at first. I mean, sometimes they do and you have to kind of run ads on that account for a couple of weeks and they'll give you the ability to make more um, Facebook accounts. But in general, Facebook will give you multiple business managers. I mean, if you look at, into your Facebook stuff, um, a few of my internal team members were able to actually get uh, four business managers per um, profile, four business managers. And then inside of those business managers, you can usually start with at least one account and then they make you, they allow you to make more accounts. And then um, if your accounts are in good standing, you could even get over 20 um, accounts per business manager and stuff. So what I really recommend doing, like I said, is kind of allocating certain um, accounts or business managers or setups uh, for certain types of verticals, actually. So what's very interesting about our business is we'll actually allocate entire uh, BMs towards certain uh, verticals. We'll say, okay, you know, we're going to be doing our all of our loan things in this vertical. We're going to be doing our legal things in this, um, sorry, bi business manager. Like we've actually been allocating entire business managers um, for certain verticals. And we feel like that's been a really great way um, to do it in a safe way, right? So the, the first business manager is maybe everything regarding real estate. The second business manager is your home services. The third business manager is your um, uh, maybe educational offers. The fourth home business manager is your um, legal offers, whatever it is. And we have found a really good way to diversify is is to be doing different things in different business managers. Not only that, but Facebook does want you doing different things in different ad accounts. I mean, Facebook doesn't really like it. It supposedly, according to their terms and conditions the last time I checked, they didn't really like you promoting multiple businesses within the same ad account anyway. There was something that, that at least I saw about that. So they, they Facebook allows you to make multiple business managers per profile. I mean, they usually ma let you make at least two per profile. Their rules have been changing a lot, but I recommend just running things in different um, accounts. And those accounts could be within the same business manager or different business manager. And to be safer though, if the business manager is separate, it's even... Uh, it's even safer as well. So I hope these tips help. Um, I'm going to be giving you another video here in the upcoming days. Where we'll talk a little bit about some Facebook stuff and um, some tips on warming up accounts and things like that, getting multiple um, accounts opened up for you. And again, there's nothing malicious or black hat about multiple accounts. I mean, if you just go to Google, Facebook allows you to get multiple accounts. How to, um, what is it, create... It's called the Facebook account creation limit. I mean, Facebook has, look, they give you stuff like this. You can manage up to 25. This is not black hat. It's not malicious. Facebook themselves allows you to make multiple Facebook accounts, okay? So um, in this article, it it talks a little bit about the limits and um, stuff like that. But it, it even says you can manage up to 25 ad accounts and... Um, and stuff like that. What the term you're looking for, I don't even think this is the exact, there are limits on how many accounts you can create. What you're looking for is you're looking for your account, um, it's called the account creation 
limit. Let me just see if I can just find a picture of it. That would just be easier if I go to images. Yeah, check this out. Um, here we go. This should be a good picture here. Okay. Um, the account creation limit is what you're you're going to be looking for. I just clicked on that picture. Sorry, and it just got into this. Um, Okay. They need there you need to scroll down to see it. Okay, but if you look in this picture, you go into your um business manager, you go to add accounts and then um under the business info, for some reason this tutorial hasn't actually scrolled down like the the website I'm looking at hasn't scrolled down in this picture, but if you go to this picture, check this out. Um copy I'm just going to make this image just stand alone here. All right. So look at this image by Ad Espresso, right? Um, to figure out what your ad account creation limit is, you simply go to the business manager, you go to ad accounts, you go to business info. If you scroll down a little bit, which they didn't do, it will tell you if your account creation limit is 1 or 5 or 20. And um, what I recommend doing is making your um, ad accounts as many as they allow you to make. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to park those ad accounts. So um, if you... My brother made a video on how to park um, ad accounts. Let me see if I can find... Because you want to park the ad accounts because if you do not use ad accounts for more than 60 days, according to a certain recent Facebook rule, um, they will kind of disable the account for inactivity. So what you want to do is you want to create as many accounts as you can, and then you want to park them. I'm just trying to find the video on how to park the Facebook accounts here. Parking, parking, parking. Where is it? Where is it? Um, hmm. Might be on our blog. I'm just looking for this because this is important. Um, trust me, if you don't park the account, then they can disable it. Huh. I might have to look for it later and um, I might have to post below this video. All right, guys, I did a little bit of pausing of the video and resuming, and um, I found the video, okay? So it was posted a year ago from my brother, How to Park Facebook Ad Account. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, this is the tutorial, okay? So this is how you park. You get, you're going to make as many ad accounts as it allows you to make, and then you're going to park them. And trust me, there's nothing wrong with parking them. If you park them, you can just activate them later. All you have to do to activate the ad accounts later is just add a billing method to the ad account, and then you can activate that ad account later. But um, this is the video, okay? So the, the video is how to park FB ad accounts, and the video was posted on July 10th of 2019, okay? So take note of this video. If you do not know how to park ad accounts, just make sure you watch this video and you're going to learn how to park your ad accounts. So what I recommend doing is making as many business managers as possible, as many ad accounts as possible. And then what I recommend doing is um, is parking your ad accounts. And then again, in order to activate those ad accounts later, you could activate them a year later, a couple months later, whenever you're ready to use them. How you activate the ad account is you simply just add um, the credit card and the billing method to the ad account and then you can start using it. So it's a nice way to park it without it going inactive. So that's my suggestion there is to definitely learn how to make the ca accounts and business manager and park the accounts if you do not already do this as common um, practice. And then the other call to action here was to make sure you're doing different types of um, marketing in different business managers. And some people go as far as actually not only having different managers, but a lot some people go as far as having different profiles. So maybe they'll run ads on their mom's or their cousin's or a friend's profile. So then they could spread out their marketing even further, right? Because if Facebook allows you to get two to four business managers on your profile, they would also allow um, two to four business managers on your mom or friend or cousin's profile. Um, and some people go that route as well in order to... Um, basically have more more business managers. So that, that would be up to the person and stuff like that, but that is what um, some people do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you with a few uh, goodies as well. So the, the first one is to watch this parking ad account video. So again, the date, if you have to scroll through all of our um, archive, uh, just simply go to 
subscribe to our channel. Click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when we put out good training videos like this. But go to our channel. Go to videos. Just scroll, scroll, scroll. You have to go back like a year. And then it's um, it's the one that's like an entire year. How to park FB ad account. So check that one out. And this is another very good video. How to scale affiliate campaigns to 10 grand a day. This really lays out the framework of how to do that. And then we have some other really good uh, videos. This webinar here, I teach on what makes a good um, affiliate offer and how to scale up campaigns and stuff like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these videos, make sure to press the like button below this video. Leave your comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you're not already, join our Facebook group. We have a Facebook group called um, Affiliates Ask Anything. Um, Affiliates Ask Anything is a Facebook group with over 7,000 affiliates in it. Very fast growing. It's got over 1,100 affiliates just in the last 30 days alone. Join this Facebook group because there's a lot of training that gets posted in there. We post uh, training videos in there and other people po post training as well. And there's a community. People talk to each other, answer each other questions. So join this. It's free. Um, affiliates ask anything. Join this group. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in another video. Guys, we'll talk soon and have a great day. All right. Bye.